Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to be showing you my, well, I guess it would be called my radio telescope setup. Um, right now it's in its, well I'm going to call it its alpha stage, and uh, so that means I'm only using a multimeter as my detection. Um, it's a pretty good multimeter at that. Um, so yeah, so we have two antennas, so we have our secondary and our main antenna. Yes, that is tinfoil. Um, that's mostly just to block my sig the signals from the nearby city um, from the sides. So we have a directional antenna, a all bander that I built. Uh, just another bit of reflection. Um, and it, you know, it has its coil in there. And so it's pointing directly up and uh, through the skylight. Now, as you can see, it's quite cloudy out, so it's going to um, quite to change our uh, signal strength. But hopefully, we're still getting some signal. And then uh, attached to it, we have the... So that is an old bander, and this... I designed for microwaves. Um, we don't have the microwave on, so obviously it works right now. And then we also have, I have, so you have our connection points, so this goes, this is our positive, so you have our, um, oop, that fell off. This is our secondary, this black wire, and then this goes this one goes to the multimeter. And then uh, we have another wire and it goes into this little box, which goes to an audio cable, which has an extension and is running into my computer. And right now I'm trying to figure out um, a way so I can actually record the results or data or anything through the audio cable. I'm thinking as like a microphone type of thing um, so yeah, it just goes in here and uh, comes out as an audio signal, so that's pretty good. I haven't really figured out how to use it yet. And then uh, for our ground, we have ground for the uh, audio, and we have ground to the multimeter, and ground for this guy. And I could hook up a ground to this guy. Um, I don't think I need to right now. Because uh, that that would give me better results, but uh, I'm not expecting much being near a big city, and uh, it's being quite cloudy today. So um, I did notice that. So my phone doesn't really affect it. Um, my charger that I'm charging it right now with does affect it, as you can see quite drastically, and this is being measured. Um, by 200 millivolts. So this is 200 millivolts. So when it goes to a 1, that's 1 millivolt. Okay? And so when a satellite goes overhead, at least according to my phone, directly overhead because this guy is going straight up, um, I can usually read about one point five millivolts. Um, so I think that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of like an easy detection system. Um, it's not the best. I should probably add on some filters, uh, mostly so I don't get any um, unwanted signals. Now I was also considering to put a uh, UHF slash VHF antenna, but uh, decided against it because living in a port city isn't very useful because um, port operations is quite used quite a lot. So, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day. You know what I just realized? Um, I was measuring in DC. I forgot to turn it on to go to AC. Um, so, that's a difference that's quite important.
Don't screw that up like I just did. So let's, we can actually change the setting. Um, make sure everything's plugged in. So right now we have it on two volts AC. And uh, we're getting a hundredth, uh, three hundredths of a volt, which is pretty good. I think I'm going to definitely keep it on this setting now. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching.